Well, today we're going to add some nice melty, cheesy quesadillas and some burritos to our doll's Mexican feast. Stay tuned and see how fun and easy these are to make. For our first choice today, we are going to make some quesadillas so we can use up some of these flour tortillas we made last week. So we're going to start with, uh, this I believe is Sculpey 3 in sweet potato, and this is a random yellow clay that was in my stash, and this is literally all of this yellow that was left. There was no label anymore or anything. I'm trying my best to get some of those old clays used up that have been hanging, some of them literally have been in my stash for decades at this point. They're still good. I just need to get them used up before I buy any more. Uh, I think I can go a little more of the sweet potato. I got a little too much yellow there, it looks like. I'm aiming for that nacho cheesy color. You know, we're, we're all familiar with that. I think it's not really a cheese color. Uh, it's kind of a, it's a fake cheese color a lot of times. Um, and that's the kind, kind of quesadilla we're making today. So I'm going to turn the camera off and I am going to get this blended together so that it is streak free and when that happens I'll come back and we can start working on our quesadillas. Alright, I've got these mixed together and hopefully most of the noise from outside is gone now. So I am going to kind of flatten that out with my fingers. And I've got a couple of craft sticks. I just want to roll this out and make a nice, not too thin, not too thick piece of clay. Um, you know, I think everybody knows. I use a craft stick because it's something that's pretty standard. I'm, I'll cut two, but I think I'm only going to want one circle. I don't think I'm going to do a whole bunch of these. We'll see how it goes. Um, I was kind of playing with this earlier today to kind of see how to do what I wanted to do. I'm going to loosen it up from the tray, from the tile, and now I'm going to take one of my tortillas. And if you've got a side that you like better than the other side, be sure and use that on the, the outside. So I'm going to fold this in half. And you can see this, by the way, first let's look at this. This is approximately the same size. I'm not sure what the diameter of this cutter is, to tell you the truth. It's, they weren't labeled when I bought them. And right now I'm feeling lazy and I don't want to dig out my stuff, my measure. I'll try to measure it and write it down in the blog post. And I don't remember how big I cut these. So I fold it in half and I'm going to use some small scissors and I'm going to cut. Now when you cut these, keep the pieces that are the top and bottom, the matched pairs, keep them together. And I did find it was impossible to keep it, to use the fold, so I have, we have to cut this on the fold. I won't make you watch me do the whole, all of these on camera, but I'm going to do a, one or two on camera. Now, so I've got four pairs of tortilla wedges. Now, if you've got the um, 3D paint that I used, I used some of that for 3D fabric paint to do a nacho a couple of years ago, and I'll try to remember to link that uh, video in the blog post and maybe in an i-card in the top corner if I remember. But if you've got that paint, you could use that, just cut these in, into pieces and kind of use that as your filler. But I don't have any of that anymore and I'm not going to go looking for it right now. So I'm just going to cut this into eight wedges. It's okay if it's not perfect. And some of these are bigger than others, so I'll probably have to trim them. So pull one over here. It's okay if it kind of bends. I've got my TLS off to the side. 
going to use a toothpick and I'm going to put some TLS on there. TLS on. Oops, come on. That almost worked. Come on. Kind of line it up on there. It really is easier to do when you don't have the camera on. For some reason, everything sticks to your fingers more when you've got a camera on. Now, kind of push down just enough that the cheese, kind of, that the filling kind of oozes out. And then you can use the side of your dental pick. Kind of make it oozy a little bit more. If you've got too big a wedge, this one I probably should have trimmed there, but I didn't. So I'll put this off to the side to bake it. Let's work with this piece that's way big, because I can tell that one is going to be way too big to use the way it is. So I'm going to spread some TLS on the inside of this. Line that up at the edge, and I'm going to cut we're still, we're not under camera. Okay, I'm glad I looked. Okay, so I used TLS on the paper. I put it on there and cut away the extra. So it fits fairly well. Turn it around, turn it over. And this is gonna be very slippery. TLS is very slippery at this stage. It's, so it's going to be, slippery and it's going to stick to your fingers and just be patient, be patient with the clay, be patient with yourself, it's okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, there, and that's not under camera again. I am going to do one more just like that. See, I think this piece is probably a little too big also. So let's put it way over there. Okay. So, pick this up. Put a little TLS on the back of it. I've got my camera in a weird location and I don't know why it's sitting, why it's angled wrong. I think my tripod moved and that's part of why I'm having so much trouble in the last couple of videos. I need to fix my tripod again or just get a new tripod, which would probably be the better solution. It's on my list. All right, turn that over. Yep, still under camera. I even backed you guys up a little bit to give myself a little more working space, and it's still... Come on. Everything's sticking to me. Mush it down just a little bit, just enough that the cheese oozes out a little. And there you go. So I am going to finish this up. I'm going to make at least these pieces I have cut, maybe that other disc, maybe not. And then I'll put these on my baking plate and then I'll come back and we can start working on some burritos. All right, so I've got those on my baking tray. So now let's go ahead and make some burritos or start some burritos. This, 
I played around with multiple ways of doing this and this was the way that worked the best. Now, I'm making a burrito this time that is totally closed in on both ends. So I took a random piece of clay out of my scrap clay bag. Remember I talked to you guys about the scrap clay bag. When you're done with a project and you've mixed clay or you've got clay that's stuck to other clay, put it in your scrap clay bag. You can use it for things. And that's what I'm using today. I don't even need that much for to start. So this is just a random color that was in there. I'm going to roll this down until it's about the diameter of a toothpick. And I've got a toothpick right here, so you can kind of see that. I tried rolling these without any clay in them, and they worked, but I think they looked, the one that I put clay in and did the way I'm going to show you, worked the best. All right, now... I'm going to fold my first tortilla and pick out which side you like best. So I like this side of this one better than this side because this side has like this side better than this side because this side has some big kind of blotches. So I'm going to fold in my sides like I would if I was making a real tortilla or real burrito. Now I'm going to go along and I'm going to cut this clay snake a little bit shorter than that. Not a lot. I want it to fit in that fold. It's okay if some are a little longer, some are a little shorter. Like I said, this isn't going to show. It's just going to be kind of a placeholder. It's going to be a filler that holds this out to the right shape. And I probably won't even use that much. All right, now, definitely want that side on the inside on this one. I fold up my edges that way. I know I've got, I'm putting this in the right spot. I'm not going to do them all on camera. I'm going to do a few and then I'll turn the camera off and finish up. So I'm going to take a little bit of TLS and put it right here at the end. Oops, taking a little TLS and put it right there. And I'm going to put this right on it. And that's all I'm going to do for right now. Just that. Don't put too much TLS on because you do want to be able to fold up pretty close to that snake of clay. I'll do a couple of these. Hopefully, at least some of them will be under camera. Like I said, my tripod is... I need a new tripod desperately, I think. But the tripod I want is expensive. Alright. So I am going to prep the rest of these, and then I'm going to put the quesadillas and the beginnings of the burritos into the oven at the recommended temperature for my clay for 10 minutes because I want that TLS to really cure. When that is done and it's cooled, I'll come back and we can move on to finishing these off. All right, now here are our quesadillas and our start to our burritos all baked off. Our quesadillas I'm done with. I'm not going to do any color on them. Um, I know usually when I make quesadillas, sometimes they turn out brown, sometimes they don't. I'm going to leave these not brown. If you want to add some color, if you've got the right color of paint, go for it. Uh, just very lightly. I just couldn't find any paint the right color. Now, let's roll some burritos. So I have my tacky glue and I have a clean toothpick, and I have these clips from Dollar Tree. I like these because they're a little bit rounded here on the end. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to attempt to stay under camera. We'll see how that works out for us. First roll, fold that tortilla up, and unlike making real ones, we can glue these. If we need to later, we can always go in and add a little glue wherever they're not staying together. Put some glue in here. 
push that flap and kind of cradle this in that round spot on the clamp. I'll do one more on camera and then I'll turn the camera off and do the rest of these so you don't have to watch the same exact thing uh, nine times because I end up with nine, nine burritos here. And there. Now next time, I think we will probably revisit burritos and stuff at a later date. And then we can try making some that are cut. Um, I was kind of playing around with it and I was just not having a lot of luck getting them to look the way I wanted them to. So I decided that I wanted to get this. We're already a week late on this video since I had a week that I couldn't put videos up. So we are just going to go with that. And I already started the next one, even though I said I was going to turn the camera off first. Okay, one more. Then I'll turn the camera off. I was busy talking. All right. And of course, this is the one that fights with me. It knew. But that's okay, because burritos are never perfect in real life. If you roll burritos and they all come out perfect, my hat's off to you. Mine always look like they're about ready to fall apart. All right, this time I really will turn the camera off. Um, I've only got enough clips to do part of these, then these will have to dry, then I'll have to do the second batch, and once everything is glued and dried, I'll come back and we'll look at these all together. All right, here we go. We have our glue on our burritos is dried, so they are ready to display. I love how these came out. By adding that little bit of clay in the middle, they don't smush down, so they'll be a little bit a little more sturdy for display purposes. And you could use any clay in there. It's a perfect use for some of your scrap clay. So we've got the combination of all our burritos today. We've got our quesadillas with all the melty cheese oozing out. Of course, we don't want to forget our tortillas in their little tortilla keeper or tortilla warmer. Whoops, Let's see if I can get the lid on there straight. And then of course, we also made tacos a while back and a dish of enchiladas. I think the dolls have quite the Mexican food feast here going on. And we will re revisit Mexican food in the future because as far as an ethnic cuisine, Mexican food is my very, very favorite. So I have many, many more favorites to recreate in miniature for you. So if you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button. Leave me a comment. What kinds of food do you love? What would you like to see? me make on the channel. Be sure and check the blog post, by the way, for photos and more insight. And oh, I, I got a story to tell about today's eventful morning of trying to film. It's, it's, it's been interesting around here. So be sure and check that blog post. Link is always in the description box. If you enjoy my content and haven't subscribed, I encourage you to push that subscription button and the notification bell so you know when I put up a new video. Thank you for watching today and I will talk to you next time. Bye.